The Tonal Sap Lake and River System in Cambodia is about to uh, help 100, is home to about 1.2 million people, but poor sanitation practices are having detrimental effects on the local environment and water quality. Engineering students at the University of Melbourne have come up with a solution and they're leaving for Cambodia tomorrow to put their hard work to the test. Our reporter Tony Nichols caught up with some of the students ahead of their trip. Tony Nichols, good morning. Whereabouts are you? Engineers Australia are the pioneers of the Make It So program, which encourage the country's best minds to use their skills to make a difference. Now, the University of Melbourne have stepped up to the plate this year, developing new technology which could revolutionise the sanitary practices of third world countries and also encourage and create new green sustainable energy practices. Joining us now to talk about this technology is James Fitzgerald with Engineers Without Borders. And James, tell us all about the project in Cambodia. Well, in the developing world, many people don't have access to fresh water and um, adequate sanitation needs. So, for example, in Cambodia, 1.2 million people are living on the Ton Lee Sap Lake. Now, they're living on these floating barges, and um, what happens is, if you can imagine that you're going to the toilet in the lake, and you're also um, drinking fresh water out of this. So, Engineers Without Borders is actually working in partnership with the University of Melbourne and the local community to, um, to capture the gas from, these, uh, from the sanitation. Okay, terrific. Congratulations. Let's take a look at some of the technology. Alexander Thompson is off to Cambodia tonight. And Alexander, tell us all about this uh, prototype. Okay, this is a prototype um, biogas capture and storage device. So the biogas that's created from the biodigesters will um, get sucked into this device at very low pressure and this lever comes up and then comes back down again and compresses it to a much higher pressure which can then be distributed throughout the community for cooking. How do you think this can make a difference on those floating communities in Cambodia? It will make a huge difference. Um, biogas is a much more sustainable cooking fuel. Uh, Cambodia has a very high deforestation rate, so this will replace wood-fired cooking stoves and um, obviously um, make a much more sustainable community. And how exciting is this for you as a, a university student travelling abroad with a new idea? Oh, it's hugely exciting. We've been working on this project for about 10 months now, so it'll be great to go over and see whether this prototype um, will work in the community. Great. Congratulations. Thanks for joining us this morning. OK, Alexander Thompson and James Fitzgerald, they're using their skills, hopefully, to make a difference in the third world. Be good to see Tony Nichols. Thank you.